Hey friends, boy, we got a video today I'm excited about. Doug Gray has been doing a series of videos with us. Hopefully you've been watching. This man is an expert when it comes to custom rods, reels, lures, killer bee customs. Make sure you check them out. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how Doug here is a rap artist. That's right, a rap artist. <laughs> Secretly a rap artist. Because we are gonna rap this what is it called, a guy? Roller guy. Roller guy. We're gonna wrap this roller guy onto this rod. You're gonna see how it's done. This is custom work. So I'm excited to see how it's done. folks let's see it we got a roller guide and uh it needs to be wrapped because that's how you hold it on so you wrap it and you add your epoxy right that's correct that's what i have learned ladies and gentlemen so with that being said what do we need to know what's what are, what are the steps here doug well what i'm gonna do is uh we're gonna do an under wrap uh which is gives it a little it, it cushions the the blank and gives the thread and the epoxy something to bite onto uh when we when we finish this what I have here is one section that has not been under wrapped yet. So I'm going to do this. Okay. And I'm going to do a, a little decorative part right in the middle. Yep. I'm going to weave in some gold thread. All right. And when that's completed, I'm going to put the guide on, uh, tape it down, and then start wrapping it and get it get it secured to the blank so it's ready to go to the next step. This is going to be cool. I'm ready for this. I'm ready to learn. All right, ready? let's see it. Let's do it. So is there anything special about this string that we're looking at here? It's just not on thread. It's uh, It comes in three different sizes. What I use comes in three different sizes. A, B, and D. D is your heaviest thread. Uh, wow, so now you got it spinning. Yep, I've got my little foot pedal down there. Look at that thing. And I just kind of keep an eye on it and keep it tight. And get it going right down the blank and it's perfect it's not always like that now <laughs> first time you did i don't reckon it was too perfect no the first one i did was kind of ugly do you think i'm ugly no but <laughs> i'm gonna take a piece of this gold metallic thread all right and i'm gonna tuck that under there I'll run, spin that around there a few times to secure it. Trim that little tag off. Pull it tight. All right, she's secure. A couple wraps here till I get close to my mark where I have everything measured out. Oh, this is neat. Now, what I'm gonna do is, it's called, this is called an uh, olive branch. Olive branch. Olive Extend branch. Extend the olive branch here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap this gold around your black thread. Oh, wow. Ain't this stinking awesome. I love like stuff this. like this. This is great. This is great. Now the olive branch is mainly decorative, right? That's correct. It has no structural. It just makes it look custom. It's just pretty. All right, so we did our thread. Did uh, our under wrap. Our under wrap. To get your facts straight. Our decorative under wrap. That was super cool, just with thread here and this really freaking dope sewing machine almost like <laughs> this is rad okay so now we're ready for our uh roller guide so what's next all right well i went ahead and prepped the guide uh I, you file i file the uh the leading edges down here so you have a good transition ah, with the, when important. the thread runs up on it that's important I makes it a little makes life a little bit easier uh-huh wouldn't have thought about that okay, okay good recommendation so now what i'm gonna do is i got everything laid out on this rod so i know where everything goes and i'm gonna put this guy down with some tape 
All right. Just to hold it in place. Yeah. And then I will start wrapping with this black thread, which will secure the guide to the blank. It'll get two uh, two layers of thread here. Yep. And then when the whole rod is complete and all the guides are on, we'll go back to the epoxy station and we'll put two coats of epoxy on it. So you're looking at a day and a half. Wow, wow, there's a lot of time. That's why it's called a custom, <laughs> custom rod. All right, so this is gonna be cool. So we're going to, with thread now, lock this bad boy in place and then the epoxy comes back on top of that. And then not only does she look amazing, but she is locked and loaded. Ready to go. Ready to catch the biggest tuna of your life. So you're slightly moving it with your hand as you go. That's correct. I'm moving this carriage along as we go, just so I can keep the thread. I want it tight against the last wrap. If yeah. you hold it too tight, it'll jump back on, right, it. it'll on, jump the, pre over. on the previous wrap, which is- sloppy. Yeah. That was slick, Rick. Slick, guys. <laughs> Very slick. Man. So now all we gotta do is we'll do this side, and then uh, that guy will be ready to uh, ready to go. I'll put the rest of the guides on, and she'll go back to epoxy and get shiny and pretty. Well, folks, now you know how you can become your own rap artist. That's right. This is how it's done. That was cool, Doug. And just as a reminder, if you don't want to do this at home, call this guy. He's awesome. That's who we use with Saltwater Fishing University. The professor and myself, we love Doug, and so. That was pretty cool.